Hi, this horoscope is for all Leo rising signs for the month of February. The year is 2024. Can't believe that. Um, <laughs> so this is how I, I uh, advise people on these horoscopes. First, always check your rising sign. It doesn't matter if it's my horoscope or somebody else's. Always look for your rising sign. So for you, Leo rising, you're going to listen to this one. I would also recommend listening to the sign after yours, which is Virgo. And then also look for your sun and moon. So like this goes for any general horoscope. You got to keep in mind these are general horoscopes. The most accurate way to see how planets will impact your life personally is to get a transit reading from an astrologer. I offer these, but most astrologers do. That way we can take the actual astrology transit that's going on and we can superimpose it on your birth chart to see exactly how these influences are impacting you. Uh, that's the best way. But so without further ado, here we go, Leo Rising. I know it sounds strange because Leo season is six months away. But Aquarius season is one of the most important times in your life. You may not have ever known that before, but it's absolutely true. This month is all about your relationships. And at times you'll have moments that your career is being activated as well. Now you have Jupiter and Uranus transiting the area of the area of your life that has to do with your public reputation and your career there's no doubt that some of you leo rising you've had a total change in your career or there's something about your career that is gone and something that has been added so this month the universe is going to add to that and remind you what is the new approach to your career and oddly enough, your relationships, your partnerships, both romantic and business, will somehow directly or indirectly influence this. Even though you're a Leo rising and you stand on your own two feet very well, the universe is trying to get you to understand in the month of February, especially those first two weeks, that your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one interactions with everybody are immensely critical for your soul's growth. Don't skip it. Mercury moves into Aquarius on February 4th. It is then in an exact conjunction with Pluto the following day. This is a time where you really need to speak out. If you have any, like... <laughs> I don't know, unresolved issues with any partnerships. You need to speak about it, write about it. This is a great time for you to start and sign any one-on-one -on -one contracts around February 4th. If it looks bad, and if there's any sort of uh, shadiness, do not sign the contract. Because when Mercury and Pluto come together and are transiting your seventh house like it's doing here, sometimes what happens, and especially you got the sun there too, it will show you that somebody is being underhanded in a partnership and in a contract. So that could be marriage, business, or some sort of other contract. That could even be uh, taxes. That could be leases. That could be any one-on-one -on -one contract. So... When I say be open, yes, be open to a new friend, a new ally in the form of a business partnership or a new friend you meet that was somebody that you knew at a like was, you know, I don't know, at a store or someone in the neighborhood that you didn't even consider being a friend that you're you're uh, going to be friends with, but also consider that you're going to have to be discerning. Because there's going to be this highlight about underhandedness and sneakiness and somebody being manipulative. 
So just be careful about anyone around you with that as well. So say yes to someone and something that seems to be pretty honest, but do not agree to be in any sort of relationship or partnership with anything, anybody, like organization body or um, even if it's an apartment for rent or a lease, don't agree to it if, it if you feel like something's missing. The sun in Aquarius squares Uranus. This is an activation. This is a relationship between your partnerships and your career. So if you're a contractor, that you're part of a business partnership, even though people don't think so, it's true. Uh, I would also be okay with this is a time. It may not be exactly February 8th. It could be a few days before or a few days after. And Jupiter here too is in a square that you have some partnerships that are in conflict the first two weeks with your career or what are you trying to be seen in your career? Are you trying to get your recognition in your career? There's others of you out there that are going to have a lot of energy motivating you to be recognized. So a lot of you will get recognition in career the first two weeks of February. That new moon is about relationships and partnerships. Just be careful because Pluto is right there. So something will end in a partnership. Okay? Something will definitely end in a partnership. Whether it is a contract um, a new something will end and something begins. Like a new contract emerges from one that doesn't work anymore. A new lease, a new um, some some of you might even do like a marriage vows. You might renew them, but this is a good time. So if there's any changes with partnerships, relationships, and contracts, trust me. It really will play out even better down the road. This is just the early stages of Pluto and Aquarius. Having the new moon and Mercury and having it square back to Uranus here, it's going to quantum leap you into the future. So, you know, years to come, even decades to come, this whatever new partnership is here around February 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, I would really consider that as long-lasting and extremely positive. So very good news there on that front. Some of you will even start to get married or think about getting married. So congratulations to you if that is indeed you. We get into the second week. Mars then moves into Aquarius. And then we start to see things big time, big, big moment globally around the 12th, 13th, and 16th. We have, of course, Mars joining this. There's, don't be afraid of changes coming your way, especially with both career and your partnerships, especially that second week, February 11th through the 17th. Uh, I said this in our horoscopes. There's a stellium of all planets in Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus on the 16th. That includes the North Node and Chiron in Aries. What that means is there's no more contemplation this is all action. So whatever changes you're going to get, and it's probably going to be in the way of partnerships, one-on-one, -on -one, your one-on-one -on -one interactions with people, even people that you don't think have anything to do with your personal life, whatever new beginning there is, because these are huge new beginnings, new leases, new contracts, new recognition in career, wonderful time. Venus then moves into Aquarius. We could start to see some be uh, some of you will definitely get married. Or whoever whoever you like are flirting with or going on a date with could have potential to be a marriage partner down the road. So that will be interesting to see. I would also say that uh, if you do any sort of counseling with marriage counseling. Or if you're some sort of business advisor, the month of February is very good business-wise for you. 
especially when you get to February 16th, that's when you can get celebrity status, go viral, or have more money coming your way. You have got Mercury squaring Uranus there, Venus with Pluto there. Uh, just be careful if you guys are meeting any new romantic partners or you're dating, even if it's casual, that you're not meeting somebody who's toxic. If you're deciding to do a business partnership and just look at it very seriously, because I've talked about this before, there could be something manipulative or toxic about them. Just be careful. Um, if you don't see anything, then it's probably not that. And it's that's Pluto. Um, sometimes Pluto can show us toxicity and some manipulative energy. And other times it's just going to be a rebirth. Because if a business partnership serves your highest good, it's going to feel smooth and it's going to be a renewal and a rebirth. If a business partnership or romantic relationship or any sort of casual one-on-one -on -one relationships, dating, uh, contracts, they don't serve your highest good, you're going to see them act in a way that's manipulative, lying, secretive, toxic. And that's when Pluto is, is saying to you, get out of this. You get to week three, this is where the energy definitely starts to change huge because the Pisces season begins. This activates your eighth house. So any ideas regarding money that you owe, especially when you get to February 22nd, if you are struggling with any debts, feel free to write a letter to whom you owe money to and you might have some success. Especially get into March as well. But I would say as early as February 22nd with that. You got Venus conjunct Mars. We're going to see a lot of new couples get together February 22nd after Valentine's Day. Okay, You're going to see that globally. If you're in a relationship and you're just dating someone or you're in a serious relationship, I would go on a date and do all that romantic stuff. Um... I know Valentine's Day is the week before, but I would consider it a, the third week, February 18th through 24th. Really invest yourself in romance. If you have children, it's also a good time for them, but really it's romance. So have fun with that as well. The full moon in Virgo on February 24th does offer you either more money coming your way. So congratulations. Or that full moon is going to offer you an insight on how to perfect, and not perfect, how to improve your, whatever it is that you do for work and for career. Whether that means scaling back on time, you're just giving away too much time and not getting paid for it, or increasing and like charging more for your services, whatever that is. So really good time for that as well, for that full moon I would think that if you've been struggling with finances, you're going to get help coming your week, coming your way um, around that full moon. But remember, full moons last three days. So we're looking at a window of three days before, three days after with that full moon. Venus squaring Jupiter is very good for you. Uh, it does activate that career. So a lot of opportunities for career recognition on February 24th and 27th with Mars making that exact square with Venus and Jupiter. Just, um, But I see a, a possibility for a lot of you Leo rising signs that there is some sort of business relationship that can improve your career. Some of you have a business partnership that probably works against you in a way. Or maybe it's just... Um, Struggling to find a common ground at times, this is the month where I think you'll be able to negotiate very good, very well in your business partnerships that will help your career. So congratulations to you on that. And then finally, the sun is with an exact conjunction with Mercury and Saturn on February 28th. I will tell you that, and that's, that's your eighth house. If you are doing any sort of readings, I will look at the whole fourth week, February 25th through the 29th, and even the first couple days of March. 
to don't like that's the that's the week where you gotta do readings. You know, that's the week where you got to post on social media or advertise or email people or just get in contact with people. That is a really uh, window there. I would say the last week of February, the first probably week, maybe even more of March. Um, okay, if you feel like you've been in a crisis in any way, shape, or form, it's another opportunity to write about it and speak about it because it'll bring you a lot of healing as well. Well, Leo, looks like a great time for you. And it's not a lazy month at all. And I would also say, Leo Rising, that every time you get to Aquarius season, it will bring about some opportunities for you for all kinds of things. Like uh, your relationships will improve or could improve. And if they're not serving your highest good, you'll see changes in every every Aquarius season. It's an opportunity for you to improve your finances and especially career. And if you are your own boss, it's an opportunity every time you get through Aquarius season to improve that as well. And even I would, yeah, I'll leave it at that. That's what I want to say with that. So um, sounds like a great month. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much for watching.